Welcome to an example of classifications of functions such as 1 1 function, 1 2 function, bijections and invertible functions. Check the injectivity and surjectivity of the following function. f is defined from z to z given by f of x is equal to x cube. z, z is set of integers all integers, negative as well as positive integers. Both domain and codomain are given to be set of integers. And the rule by which the images should be calculated for the function f is x cube. So, image of 4 is 4 cube, image of minus 1 is minus 1 cube, etc. We need to check whether this function is 1 1 function. What is 1 1 function? A function f defined from set A to set B is called 1 1 function or injective function if distinct elements have distinct images. In other words, whenever there are two elements x1 and x2 unequal, distinct, their respective images should also be unequal. Or in case the images happen to be equal for some x1 and x2, then those x1 and x2 should also be equal. Two interpretations of a definition. That is, whenever x1 not equal to x2, then their images x, f of x1 and f of x2 should also be unequal. First interpretation. Second interpretation is, in case two images happen to be equal, their pre-images should also be equal. While checking this example for 1 oneness, we can go by either of these interpretations. I am going by the second one now. Let there be two images equal for some x1 and x2 of the domain. Let f of x1 and f of x2 be equal. Now, what is f of x1? f of x1 is x1 cube, f of x2 is x2 cube. So, this equation can be rewritten as x1 cube is equal to x2 cube. Now, don't be casual in taking off this cube sign and writing it as x1 equal to x2, which may not be true. The way you should simplify it further is x1 cube minus x2 cube is equal to 0. Now, this is a cubic equation. Factorize this expression using the formula, using the identity a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b into a square plus b square plus ab. By using that identity, we get these factors. x1 minus x2 into x1 square plus x2 square plus x1 x2 equal to 0. Now, we have an equation in which product of two factors is equal to 0, which can happen in two ways. Either the first factor equal to 0 or the second factor equal to 0. The first factor while equating to 0, we get x1 equal to x2. Or a second possibility is there x1 square plus x2 square plus x1 x2 is equal to 0. Now let us think of the second part, second factor. Can this be really be, can this be really be 0? See here, x1 and x2 are two integers. They may be positive or negative. So, of course, x1 square and x2 square are positive, but this x1, x2 can be a negative quantity. So, two positive numbers and a negative number while adding, it is possible, it looks so, it can become zero, it looks so. But, if you go in detail, while try solving this quadratic equation, treating it as quadratic equation, on the variable x1, find the discriminant. A is 1, B is x2, C is x2 square. Discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac, which will be x2 square minus 4x2 square. That is minus 3x2 square, which is negative. Discriminant is negative, which tells for no real number can this expression be equal to 0. No solution, no real solution. So, this second part is not possible for any integer z. Discriminant happens to be negative.
So we conclude here, whenever these two images are equal, it is compulsory that the two x1 and x2 must be equal. No other way. Second possibility ruled out. So this is the only way these two images could be equal. So whenever the two images are equal, it is implying that the two elements are compulsory to be equal. Hence, it follows strictly the one-oneness definition. We can conclude therefore this function is a one-one function or an injective function. Now let's see whether this function is onto. What is onto? A function f defined from set A to set B is called onto function or surjective function if for each element taken in the codomain, there exists an element x in the domain such that that x image is this y. In simple language, it is there shouldn't be any y left out in the codomain which is not an image. Now, how do we check? Let's go by the counter example method. First, we will go by general element method. Let y belong to b, y taken from the codomain, any y. And if possible, let this y be written as x cube. If possible, this possibility we have to check, it is yet to be checked. Let y equal to x cube for some x, then x must be y to the power 1 by 3. From this equation, if y can be written as x cube, x must be y, one y raised to the power 1 by 3. Now, according to the definition, for a y that we have taken from the codomain, we did calculate an x. One x is calculated, but it is to be checked whether this x will really belong to the domain. Will this x be an integer? It may not be always possible. For example, had we taken the y as number 3, if the y was number 3, x would be 3 to the power 1 by 3. 3 to the power 1 by 3 is not an integer. 3 raised to the power 1 by 3 is not an integer. Same thing in case y was number 5, then also y to the power 5 to the power 1 by 3 wouldn't be an integer. So, we started with if possible let it be so, it has gone not possible. So, the second part of the definition, second stage of the definition is not fulfilled. Hence, we conclude that this function is not following the definition. Hence, it is not onto function or it is not surjective function. This proof is by a general element y which could have been written in using a counter example also. A numerical counter example would also do. Let's see how. Let us take y as that number 3 which we already discussed. And we observed already that there is no x in the domain whose cube could be 3. See it's going against the definition. This is a numerical example which is going against the definition. We took a y in the codomain as 3 and we could not find an x in the domain which goes against the definition. Hence, we conclude that this function is not an onto function. Remember, to prove a definition is not followed by a given example, we can use a numerical example which goes against the definition which is called counter example. But when we want to prove the definition is okay, is satisfied, we cannot show a numerical example and prove. Numerical example, the counter example is used only to show the definition is not followed. 